In this lesson, stay in folder 11 and open up these two right here. Now, if they're next to each other, you shift click and get them. Because sometimes the order that you see is different than the order that I see based on how you're working. If they're not next to each other, you click on one, you hold on the control key, that's the command key on a Mac control of Windows, and you can do non contiguous selection. If they're next to each other, the shift key is fine. I'm going to right click and open them bad boys up. Okay, now a couple of things before we get started. I need to fix them a little bit more before we change something. What's that? He's got his eyes closed. But in the one that's next to it, he's got them open. I like the expressions of everybody in this image more than I do in this one, and I want to open his eyes. So that's our goal, and it's actually very easy if you kind of follow the numbers. So we're in the expert mode, but before we get started, let's make these guys look a little bit better here. Let's go into Enhance, and let's go into Adjust Lighting, and go into Levels. Now, in Levels, what I want to do is I want to move this one in this way to kind of bring in some of those lighter tones. I'm going to go to about 210. I can never get the number, okay? You can click down here and type it in, 210. Now, for my mid-tones, I think I do want to lighten those up to about maybe about a 110. Actually, it got there. I'm happy. Now, I want to remember the numbers 210, 110, because I want both images to be the same or we got a problem. So click OK. And let's go to the other image. I'm clicking the tab up here. And let's reapply, enhance, just lighting levels. Now, this time I'll make it easy. I'm going to type in 210 here. And I'm going to type in 1.10 there and click OK. And there is one other thing. I don't think the color is balanced correctly. So let's do this. Let's go back up to Enhance and go into Just Color and go into Remove Color Cast. Now that shirt he's wearing is white. So if I come over here and pick up the eyedropper and click, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Let's click OK. Let's do the other image. Again, they both really need to be the same. That's important because we're going to move facial features from one to the other. Let's come over here again, do an Enhance, and go into Adjust Color, Move Color Cast, come over here and click, and there you go. Now I'm happy. Now that is technically destructive editing, because we're not changing it through layers or anything else, but in this case we're going to work with it this way, and don't forget, in the organizer you would have the originals anyway. Now I want those eyes on the other image, but before we go there, I want to show you something that is really important about how this works. Watch his face in terms of where it is inside that layer when I go back and forth. Notice it doesn't seem to move at all. His face stays in exactly the same position. Now that's an important thing. Look at this guy right here. He moves. He gets shorter than taller. I'm going to show you both ways to do this. This guy's going to be easy because he didn't move. So if we go up to the word enhance and go down to photo merge and go into faces, that's where we want to go. It says you can have up to 10 photos. I just want to open the ones we have. Okay, now the one on the left has got the stuff I want to move into the one on the right. So let me open up the photo bin and pull this one. I believe it's this one over here. Eyes closed, eyes open. Now, this is extremely easy because these guys are in the same position. If I come over here and pick up my pencil tool, come over here. Now, watch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a U on his face. But I want you to watch over here. So I'm going to go down here. I say, I want this part here. I want this over here. I want to come up here. I want this stuff. Now, watch over on the right. Isn't that cool? Now, if you want to see what it actually moved, almost like cloning, it physically moved it. Come over here, come down a little bit, and say, show regions. Now, see, he got his neck, got his ears. That top part is because of the contrast values. There's nothing up there anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. But you do have an eraser tool if you want to take some of that stuff away. But it actually did work. I am very happy with what it did. But what about this guy? Well, let's do this. Let me reset. I'm going to start all over again. Okay, now, the problem is, I want that guy's face. Let's forget the other guy he doesn't have his eyes open anymore. 
I want this guy's face over here, but this guy is taller up than this one over here, isn't he? If I come over here and try to do this again, again, I pick up the pencil tool, come over here and say, give me that face. Now watch over on the right when I let go. See, it put it spatially in the same place. And the problem with that is he was lower. I've got to fix something. So that's what the alignment tool does. Let me reset. This one's okay. I'll tell you what. Let's double click on this one and let's move this one over here. So you double click to set the source. You drag to set the final. This one's fine, but I want his face over there. We're going to have the same problem. It's not going to work. What do we do? I have to move or adjust this image so that they're in the same plane over here. So how do we accomplish exactly that? Well, you have an alignment tool that you can use before you do the pencil tool. And when you do, you get three points. Those three points must be aligned up exactly on each one of the images. Now, some people go the two eyes and the nose. It's not going to work, okay? You need something in the image that indicates the movement of the camera. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and drag these, and I'm going to put them on these lights. One there. And you want to get them exactly where they're supposed to be on both, or it's not going to work. And I'm going to do this one down here, I guess. Now, what I need to make sure is that these, and when you come over, it'll do that. These are in the same positions on those lights. I just want them really to be exactly in the same positions. That looks pretty good. Okay, now watch what happens when I say align the photos. Watch the one on the left. What it did is it realigned the image so that those points are exactly in the same position on one image to the other. So you need something stable like that to actually make this work well. We can try it again. Pencil tool. Cross your fingers, I guess. And come over here and do yourself a little dance. Check it out. Now we can turn back on. I want to see if we got everything. And pretty much we have. That's not too bad, but we might get a little bit higher up on the top of his head. So let's come up here a little bit. Just like that. And I can turn that off again. And basically, we have moved that face. Now, you can only realistically, if you're doing it this way, move one at a time. Because if I tried to move the other guy's face again, he's now been moved. So you would close this and reopen it and reinstall the second face. But it's a nice tool to have. And the alignment feature is very important if the people are moving. Now, I was lucky on this guy. It wasn't. So he came out perfect. This guy had to change a little bit to make it work. And it moved the image to realign these dots with these. And his face came in. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and close these without saving. And there you go.